Hello everyone! In the fourth chapter of educational videos of creating bots by using Aradbot, I wanted to teach you the different types of buttons. Before entering to the panel and showing you the buttons, we want to see the different types of these buttons and how they work. We enter to the Telegram and then into the bot we create in chapter 3. I push the start button and as you see the bot we made has a group of default buttons. And these buttons are just because of the theme we selected and if you do remember we choose the store theme. Buttons you see here are the same as each other in appearance and they don't have any differences but it's possible that some of them show some contents, texts and gives files or videos and some of them gets data from your users and also there are a group of buttons that are default in the system. I mean they always do routine things which I'll show you in the default button section in the panel. The example can be news button or sign up button in the bot which do a routine job that you just can edit the text in them. Well for example the story info button is a button which by clicking on that you see a text, a map and again a text. Or in product button you see a sticker, a text and a series of buttons or submenus that by clicking on them next contents and other submenus and pictures appear and for going to previous step use back button. All the buttons which the entities are showing you a text, a file or a content are called basic buttons. In this panel, basic buttons are buttons which you by using them can show texts or any types of files or even you can send the map to them. The same as the store info button that does this for your users. Basic buttons can have submenus. The submenus can be any kinds of buttons. For example, order button is a basic button which shows a text to the user and own two submenus. One of the submenus is form builder button and one of the submenus is a default button with the title of contact us that your users can ask questions online before buying products. Order now button is a form builder button. Form builder button doesn't have any differences in appearance in contrast with basic buttons but it's different in performance. Unlike basic buttons, form builder buttons instead of just showing the content, they ask questions from your users that your users by answering them completes a form of information for you. This form can be a sign up form, order form or any other kinds of forms. The bot in this step asks me my gender. I choose my gender, it wants me the product's code. For example, I enter this code. Now it wants me to send a picture of the product I want to buy. Or I can skip this step. Now it asks me the size and I enter 32 as an example. It wants me the address. I type test for the address. And finally, it shows me confirmation which by clicking on yes option, my order will be sent to the liable person of the sale of the store. That sellable can be you yourself or one of those operators or assistants whom you have set in the panel. After clicking on the yes button, the bot shows the default text that you have set to your users. So the form builder buttons are the buttons which you can ask your questions in this way. In these questions, you can get text, pictures, locations or any other things you want from your users. Poll buttons are a group of buttons which you can create with this panel. These buttons are similar to form builder buttons in function. The only difference is that your users, after answering these questions, cause your panel shows diagrams based on your users' answers. Here it has asked me that which of the products do I like more. I choose shoes. Here it asks me that whether I am satisfied with the quality of the products or not. 
I answer yes. In this part, it wants me to leave a comment. Well, I choose no ID option and finally, by clicking on yes button, I have done a poll for the store. Well, I can say that I have told you a brief explain about the buttons. Let's go to our slide and if there are still buttons that I haven't explained, I will tell you. I mentioned basic buttons. We saw the formula buttons in the bot and we got how they works. Also customer color button. Individual buttons that we haven't mentioned are a group of buttons which you can create them by using this panel and as it's clear by its name, anyone by clicking on this button gets its own content. Okay, it's time to go in the panel and check out how we can create these buttons. Well, as I mentioned in the previous video, you by using this part or this part can see your bot's buttons. I choose my bot here. And if you notice, you can see the list of the buttons which have been created for the bot in this part. Main group is the start buttons which contains the store info button, products, order, and all of the other buttons. Here you can edit the buttons, watch the details, or delete them. And if you want it, you can insert a new button. By clicking on this option, you can choose one of the different types of the buttons. Basic buttons, formula buttons, or poll buttons. You can see individual buttons in higher versions, and if you would like, you can use them.